Torino against Inter, an entertaining match which Torino ended. Torino against Inter, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> Torino against Inter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It was go. Torino <laughs> against Inter. I'll get the fuck out of here. Yo, you're <laughs> watching, you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, yeah. I thought it was Sonino Milan. He put his out, I believe it. <laughs> you better not fucking put this shit. It ended 2 oh, 2. Sorry, guys, I take my title, man. No, you don't. <laughs> don't put that, I'll fucking kill it. Don't put that shit in. Michael. No, 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 Yes, now I remember who was playing. Sorry, Man. guys, I had to take my meds, so I'm back in here. <laughs> Inter against Torino. Are you okay? <laughs> Torino against Inter. 2-2. A very, very, very exciting match. Which ends as a draw. And the two guys we were talking about all week... Belotti and Icardi didn't, didn't show get up. on the score sheet. It's unbelievable. There was nice counterattacks, uh, much better than the next game that we're going to be talking about. But yes, there was actually energy running back, running left and right. But yes, like you said, Belotti and Icardi they didn't score. I really so, wanted but at least one of them to score. Mike, what did you make about the match? I what thought you it was a it? very good match, but mistakes at the end of the day. Oh my God. You could say Torino could have won. You could have said Inter could have won. They both had their chances. But I want to talk about Joe Hart a little bit. I think we both need to talk about Joe Hart. Do you think Padelli could have messed those up? I, mean, I think that Joe Hart is not good. I mean, we he's very he's extremely average who makes these kinds of mistakes that are so frustrating to see. He made good saves at the end, but those are also, I know everyone's talking about those saves, but to me, those are saves that a goalkeeper is supposed to be making. You're in the Serie A. I mean, City, guys, let's stop going to England and getting these guys, these goalkeepers, because <laughs> honestly, he's not that good. He really isn't that good. He is that good. All season, not just this game, all season. But when he does show up, there's not, there's not an excuse. Yeah, I know, when he does show up, he's a good goalkeeper. He's got good reflexes. But, he's got good reflexes. Yeah, I'll whatever. give him that, but his position, is off and, he, and he's just not that and smart. This is not the first time we talked about his mistakes. Yeah, he exactly. made I can imagine, but I want to see Padelli's face on GoPro on him when he <laughs> makes his mistakes. I would have been cracking up to his reactions. Um, I thought that um, it was it was a good match. It was a very good match. Um, and I think that neither side really did enough for me. Um, I saw from Inter, Perisic was extremely off. That I mean, game. he's a player. He's a player who's come extremely clutch for Inter, especially this season. Uh, but he was very off. Um, and I saw that the midfield. I thought Kondogbi was having a very good match, actually. Yeah, because Joe Hart made him have a good but not, match. No, besides the goal. Besides the goal, really. Okay. I thought Kondogbi yeah, yeah. was pretty was good. Okay. I would have kept him on and, and put in Joao Mario also. Instead, um, I didn't agree with that substitution to put Brozovic on. I think that Joao Mario could have been more important for this match. More, um, yeah, he is more of an attacking player. You know, uh, that's what, what I thought. Saying. And then they put... he. Took out, I think it was Banega and put in Eder. That was another one that I was a little bit confused about. Um, and that final thing from Inter was not there. I mean, they were getting some passes, a lot of them going to Perisic or, um, or Icardi, but it wasn't there. And I think that in the attack, they also didn't step up. Kandreva was highly criticized today, but for me, he actually had a very good second half. I just feel like... I think I think that he did a lot Icardi's of work. A he gave that cross to Perisic, which he hit high. And I think that he really tries for the team. He hustles. He's not a great player. But he's their best option right I now. Get, I get what you're saying. I do like Andreva because he's a very humble player. He always runs. He never. He always gives 100%. But I just feel like he's not <clears throat> included in the squad as much. As soon as he gets the ball, I just feel like he doesn't hold enough. He needs to possess the he's ball He's a little more. bit stupid. And his, yeah, <laughs> he's a little bit stupid on the ball. Maybe his decision making is yeah. not the best, but he didn't get that nice goal today. But other than that, I just feel like he's he's he stays, quiet. But look, like you said, he stays in the match. He's one that's always just pounding on the wall. He doesn't make the right decision, but his intent is good. And I think he does come important to Inter. Uh, he does put in way too many crosses. But again, even today, I wouldn't fault him on that. Um, I thought even the defense wasn't too bad from Inter today. Uh, Inter, uh, from, Torino, Inter. Uh, from Inter. From Inter. I didn't think it was that bad. They, took, they brought Murillo in. Too. Yeah, because like, oh. Medel got hurt. Uh, but I think that it just wasn't enough. It simply wasn't enough. And also, credit to Torino, who really went at this match. I think that they were hustling. They were trying. Uh, Baselli had a great match. Aqua was an absolute beast in the midfield. Good, yeah. Box to box, he was hustling the entire game. 
putting pressure on that defense from Inter and also the attack. He was everywhere. Um, and yeah, that, I thought that it wasn't that bad. And Torino has had a very poor defense. Um, the two goals that they put away today were extremely poor. Uh, but I also would I would say that they weren't even that bad today. It, it, it wasn't from defense. the de it wasn't Torino's defense that yeah. gave up the goals. You got to blame that on Johar. But yeah, I would expect a little bit more messier. They they played a little bit more compact in general. Torino's defense. Yeah, Mihailovic should have been. Mihailovic knows the squad for now. He knows he's not going to get the best out of it. So right now, they just got to score more than they concede because we all know Torino concede they almost could, every game. They could score, but again, they're conceding. And even um, Inter was poor defensively in the terms of the, the goal, the header from Baselli on that cross. No one was Petis, marking him. Petisic completely lost his man. I mean, that is extremely poor defending on a corner kick, which needs to be better at a higher level. But again, we spoke about Petisic. We said how he didn't have a good game. But I think Inter did show character in the sense of coming back from two to one sometimes you could go under um they shouldn't have gone to that point after they were one zero up but this was a torino side that to me came out and fought um and it just wasn't enough from inter and we're going to hear what pioli and mihalovic said right now so pioli said after the match the champions league is further away now we played an aggressive side and just didn't adjust to fit the tempo of the game until too late we made mistakes when playing out of the back we need to be sharper the teams ahead of us are not slowing down. Uh, Mihalovic had some similar words about his squad uh, after the match. He said, I'm happy with our performance and the character we showed tonight. It was an entertaining match. We gave them two gifts and probably could have even done more than just get a draw. Unfortunately, we are a different team at home and a different team away. If we played with the mentality we showed tonight, we could do great things. Uh, no, I, I agree with Mihailovic on that one for sure. But I don't feel like it could have been either or his team. I, I thought there was going to be a winner in the game, but it could have came from either team. To me, I a draw know. was fair to me. And I agree with Pioli that third place, that Champions League is looking too hard. I mean, if they some keep, of these games there's are... There's not enough there's games, nine games left. right now, and there's, they're dro you can't be dropping points. Not like Torino's a bad team, but you just got to dominate all these Torino games are right in 10th place, and this is a kind of game that you need to get that... Those three the points. The nudge, you have like, to. If you want Champions when, League. When you're looking at it, at it's one. the game was 2-2 two, two at a point. You go for it because one point doesn't really, really mean that much. You need three points if you want the Champions League, you know? So it was a game that Pioli could have went for. And Pioli is usually very good at analyzing a game during it. It didn't go their way. But again, that's also credit and merit to a strong Torino well, side. Uh, there was also some controversy after the match, actually, uh, with Mihalovic and Jajic. Jajic is a guy who is not short of controversy. Um, a few years ago at Fiorentina, he got into that famous fight with Delio Rossi, and then Delio Rossi ended up leaving Fiorentina. It was a big mess. Uh, Jajic now at Torino, and Mihalovic has some choice words for him after the match. He said, it makes me mad when I see he has a player right next to him and he doesn't even try to chase him down. Over here in Torino, everyone needs to fight for the ball, including Jajic. Wow, it looks like uh, no bygones be bygones over here. They're still talking about it. He's right. After a few years. He's right. Jajic really doesn't fight like like a Belotti. If you watch Belotti yeah, play, what saying. On, on the goal, from Baselli's goal, Belotti is the one who won the header. There was a long ball. Belotti won it from the Inter defense, and then they ended up going to score the Belotti corner defense kick. Belotti defense too is good. is yeah, a he hustler. Is. He's got... In his eyes, he's just got pure fire that he always wants to kill. He wants to get that ball. He wants to hustle. And he's a great forward. And I think that it's needed in a Mihailovic side like this more from Jajic. Oh, no, for sure. I, I can see what you're saying. But, yeah, I, uh, for Jajic, he is more of the, the wingers that would rather pass the ball. He doesn't really waste his energy running back to defend. He you tries to create him. too much. But it hasn't worked out. He's been at, been at big teams, you know, Fiorentina, yeah. Roma. And he hasn't done it. He's for a Torino side, a 10th. To sixth mid -table, place. Mid exactly. table score. A little bit above mid table. A little bit. Anyway, guys, these are our thoughts on Torino against Inter, right? Uh, I mean, correct, correct game? Yeah, correct game. And who do you think deserved the game, or do you think it was a good affair for a tie? A draw. A draw was the right result, in my opinion. Uh, Let us know in both. the comments who do you think should win? I, don't I hear know. you it keep saying been this. Both. Okay, but who do you think uh, should have won then? To be honest, I don't know. It could have been both, like I said. But I think there should have been one win. I know, I know. You got... just missed chances. Hold on, guys. Look at the hat Michael is wearing. Fratelli del Mondo represents Inter. No, guys, soon to IFTV shop, we're going to have these it hats. It could have been both. So you, want, so you think Inter, though, right? Because no, you're wearing an Inter like hat. Like I said, it could have been both. An Inter no, I, just, fan. I just like the hat. It's he a great hat. He just likes the hat. All right. It, there it is. I still think Torino could have won, and I do think Inter could have won. It could have won both sides. I don't know if a draw would have been necessary. but, but you, you guys know. have your say. I think a draw was necessary. Mike doesn't, the Inter fan does it. Anyway, put your thoughts in the comment section below. <laughs> we love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao, guys. Ciao, got to.
it's actually snowing here. <laughs> it really is snowing. So boring. Look, you're the repetitive. And my cousin sees this in Greece. It was like, call the cops. Yo, I'm late for my niece's birthday party. They probably what left without me. Mean? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I don't think I got it. Okay, <laughs> okay yeah, let's do it. Okay. What was that? I'm freezing! Stressed? My nips are fucking popping up! Okay, come on. <laughs> Tommy doesn't deserve death right now. Tommy doesn't. Okay, yo, come on. Let's go. 